Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So this week um, just to let you know I am doing a webinar with Heather from Astrology with Heather. You've seen the project that we put out of Astrology and Tarot and how the two come together. Um, so we are doing a webinar. It is a donations based webinar so you can pay 50p or 50 pounds. It's completely up to you. Um, you want to be there for this. It's all about the big picture from 2020 right through to 2026. The bigger themes and energies that are coming up and what you might need to know about them. We're talking Astrology Astrology, we're talking tarot, we're talking numerology. This is going to be a lot of fun and you really want to be there. Trust me, the link is for that in, this, in the description box below. So your key to the week this week, my dear Saggies, is the judgment card, right? So very powerful card. And you know me, I always talk about the blast from the past with this card, for sure. It definitely has that energy, but it's also in an assimilating energy. And sometimes, as you know, tarot gets really, really fucking literal, right? So what you want to know about this is, this is a week for you to tie up loose ends. This is a week for you to really delve deep. There's no surface stuff this week. You have to get to the nitty gritty of it. So if there are things that are coming up or if there are trends and themes that you notice in your own life, this is the week where you really want to start penetrating that, right? Get to the heart of it. Uh, if you have a chronic situation that's going on with your physical body, find out what is the root cause of it. If you consistently have, uh, you know, a thought or a, a feeling that keeps coming up and manifesting itself or a self-fulfilling prophecy of some sort that keeps coming up in your own life, this is the week where you get to the bottom of it. This is the week where you say, you know what, cut the crap where is this coming from and why does it keep coming up? If this is what I feel, I'm following that thought back to its original source, right? Okay, so this is what it actually feels like and where does that come from? Oh, that time when da 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 da, -da right? So there's, there could be a lot of things that come up this week that are, you know, things coming up from the deep, so to speak. So for your actions and options this week, you have the six of swords this is a great card um it very often talks about travel and a lot of you do it looks like a lot of you are very focused on travel at the moment or certainly connecting with someone from overseas or at a distance to you um and because it is the six of swords this i mean very often it's about moving out of a troubled situation so you know it looks like you're making the headway this week um, but again, this could also, for some of you, be a trip down memory lane. Maybe you're going back to the place that you used to live, uh, maybe the place that you grew up in, um, maybe you are revisiting an area or a place that you haven't been to for a while, or maybe you're catching, you know, it could just be catching up with people that you haven't seen for a long time. Um, but if I'm honest, there is a feeling here that you're uh, readdressing something or reconciling something. So it could be that you're having a conversation that smooths things over with somebody this week. For your communications and conversations, you have the Two of Pentacles. This is a great card here um, because it sees you being very balanced. It sees you being very fair in your conversations. Um, interestingly enough, this trip looks like it may have a financial slant to it. So maybe this is about work. Maybe it's about something that you need in order to do the work that you're hoping to do. Um, it could be you traveling for, you know, or commuting in some way, shape or form. Um, the other thing with your two of pentacles because it's in your communications right so this could see you having conversations about your budget about your finances about what is possible um it could be as well that some of you are setting yourself a goal that stretches you a little that makes you kind of say right well you know, I don't have that immediately, but I know that I'll be able to do it if I do A, B, and C. So this could see you getting very creative when it comes to the finances this week, and it could see you really getting, um, really getting very proactive about making, you know, making more money. And we haven't even got to your money sector yet. 
and you've got the emperor. <laughs> All right, so it does look like some of you are trying to raise money or funds for some kind of study or something that you, maybe it's a qualification that you're going after. Um, in a lot of ways, the Emperor card represents that because it, it's the institutions, right? So sometimes it can be schools, sometimes it can be hospitals, um, universities, sorry, I was just looking for the word. Um, so yeah, this does appear that it comes up for you and it looks like you're, having that conversation like can I afford to do this study can I afford to gain this qualification well with the six of sword present and the two of pentacles and the judgment card I think the question that you want to ask is can you afford not to get this qualification that is the thing that you really want to start looking at it does look like this week you're considering a bigger investment a longer term investment and it's kind of like you're literally trying to weigh up you know you're using friends family partner even maybe as a sounding board as to is this the right way to go is this the best thing for me to do or the way for me to use my resources for your home and environment home looks good it does look good interestingly enough though I am seeing a lot of travel or commuting this week so you won't be spending a lot of time at home which is interesting because it looks like you want to be there but you can't be um, so how that shapes up for you and then for your physical health um, yeah I mean this is an interesting one because that's a, a very Aries energy, right? It's, it is Aries energy. And then you have the Two of Pentacles. This could be a week where you, um, it kind of looks like you might be trying to do too much. You know, you're going to try and split your focus or be in two places at once. My advice to you is don't dilute your power that way. Do what you have to do in one place and then get home when you can, all right? For your love and relations, you have, this is lovely, the Hierophant card. So these two together, that is some sort of law or legislation. It can be some sort of bigger governing body. Uh, this is very often like a big hospital or a big dwelling. Um, you know, it could be like a legal practice or a courthouse, something that is, you know, a bigger institution. So it looks like you're kind of like you're looking to get some sort of, um, I want to say grant. Do you know what I mean? Like, it looks like you're seeking to get something. Now, if you are thinking about taking a loan, um, I have to say this week is probably one of the best for it. Just with what we know is coming up for the astrology, it's a bit of a rocky time. So, I mean, again, again one thing that I would consider for you as well, though, is Jupiter is currently retrograde in the sign of Capricorn. Now, I can tell you from personal experience, you never want to take a loan when Jupiter is retrograde. Trust me, I know. I did it once 10 years ago and it absolutely bit me in the ass. I ended up, um, it just took me longer to pay it back than I'd expected. So maybe, you know, if you're doing the research this week, that's good. Um, maybe not necessarily signing the document this week. I just, um, and you know, I mean, how long can you wait? I think that's what it comes down to. Just, just consider it wisely, all right. And my advice to you is, if you say, right, yeah, I can play, I can pay this back in two years, make it three, all right. Just factor in that extra time. If you do that now, the likelihood is you won't, it won't bite you in the butt later on. So, for your um, love and relations, for those of you that are single. This could see you aligning with a foreign stranger of some sort that is, a, you know, a real powerhouse, somebody that you will immediately notice or take notice or, you know, um, you know, somebody that almost like commands respect in a way. Um, yeah. For those of you that are partnered, this looks really nice because the commitment and the connection between you guys is paramount. That's the thing that you're, you're both more focused on. Even if you can't necessarily be at home, there's a very strong bond between you guys this week, which I absolutely love. Um, and that judgment card could reveal to you uh, where you are maybe insecure about your relationship in some way. And this is going to give you the ability to voice that. So, uh, you know, and that only ever makes couples stronger, in, in my personal opinion, anyway. Um, but yeah, with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care, and I'll see you soon.